We're looking at figure 5.6 on page 99 of your textbook. Now this figure is extremely important. You should be able to draw it um, and it could possibly be an exam question. Um, remember if you get a graph in the exam it's important to have still kind of an essay type question. So you start with the introduction, draw the graph and then underneath discuss it and end with a conclusion. Um, so this graph is really important and it shows the social efficient level of emissions. Now it's important to remember that pollution or emissions has uh, benefits as well as um, disadvantages as well as disadvantages. So the disadvantage is obvious in the sense that it damages the um, environment, right? There's a certain amount of damage involved, damage involved in pollution. On the other side, however, if we don't emit anything, if we don't pollute, we won't be able to produce anything. We won't be able to um, to live, uh, to to create. You know. So the advantage of emissions is um, we can call it the economy in a in a way. Um, the economy needs some type of emissions in order to function. So the the advantage of being able to pollute is that we can have an economy. So let's first start with naming the axis, um, then I'll get back to the advantages and disadvantages. I'm going to write cost on my vertical axe, little zero at the origin, and emissions on the horizontal axe. Now let's draw the marginal damage curve. We know that at zero emissions over here, the, the damages on the environment also be zero. So it starts from the origin, mostly. Sometimes it doesn't, but in this case it does. And then as emissions increases, the damages on the environment increases. So this is clear. The, the disadvantage from, of pollution is the damages on the environment. And this is shown by the marginal damage line. The whole area underneath this line gives us the total damage on the environment. So the curve gives us the marginal damage, the area under it gives us the total da damage on the environment. Now I said there's also an advantage of polluting and if we tell companies to stop the pollution, to, to abate some of it, to clean up some of it, then they have a certain cost. So there's also a disadvantage in cleaning up pollution and that there is a cost involved. Now, in a previous video, we said if emissions, if we let them emit as much as they like, they might emit, let's say, E max, unrestrained amount of emissions. If we then tell companies, listen, you have to decrease your emissions, initially it would be kind of cheap, and then all of a sudden it would increase substantially. So this is my marginal abatement cost, and the area under this curve over here, this whole area under this curve, ignoring the marginal um, damage function, this shows me the total abatement cost. Right. So the thing is, the social level of emission is where the cost to society is minimized. So I'm going to say that again. The social, if socially efficient level of emissions is where the total cost to society is minimized, meaning where the total damages plus the total abatement cost are at a minimum. So theory tells us that that will happen where the two meet, where marginal damages is equal to marginal abatement cost. So at E star, star, uh, an emissions of E1 and a cost of, let's call it C1. So it would be socially efficient because the total cost, meaning total abatement cost plus total damages will be minimized. If we are at E1, at an equilibrium of E1, this green block over here goes over the line a bit, sorry about that, shows my total 
damages, the total damages due to pollution on the society. And this, let's make it a um, yellow block over here. Shows my total abatement cost, meaning the total cost society had to pay to clean up the emissions up until point E star. And the two together, this green block and what do you call it, the yellow block together, this area over here, which this whole area is my total social cost. And when total social cost is at a minimum when marginal damages is equal to marginal abatement cost, like at point E. This is an extremely important graph. Make sure you're able to do it, um, to draw it. Make sure you're able to explain it and make sure you understand it.